With stores around the country shuttered and much of America staying at home, many industries are suffering. One of them is comics. Not only are the conventional stores shut, but there's no way of getting new material to comic book fans. Jim Lee is the publisher and chief creative officer of DC Comics. You know, we have a, a distributor, an exclusive distributor, and, and they've been, you know, shut down. And so uh, they've temporarily kind of shut their doors. And so there's demand, but there's no supply. So we can't get our books uh, from our printers to the different stores around the country. So like the muscular heroes they draw, a handful of comic book writers and artists have joined forces to save the day. That is, help prop up flagging comic book stores. They've created an online Twitter auction with the hashtag Creators for Comics to sell works of art, signed books, even video chats with creators, and give the proceeds to stores. Lee himself, an iconic comic artist, pitched in. Yeah, so I think I've done about 15 or so, 12 have been auctioned off. We've raised uh, uh, so far over $125,000. So if we keep at this current trajectory, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, we'll hopefully break half a million dollars. And then that's in in addition to the 250,000 that DC has donated to this fund that will basically um, support struggling comic shops in need. Edward Greenberg runs three shops in Los Angeles and fears that if stores close down, the industry may go with it. If comic books are sold in quantities that are less you know, incrementally less by, let's say, 10, 15 percent, the companies might decide it's no longer worth to produce comic book because their their, their margins are so thin. And, and we're not where we used to be in the 90s, where comic books used to be produced in quantities of millions. Sam Humphreys is the co-creator of Creators for Comics. We're still trying to get a handle on exactly how many auctions are out there, but we, we couldn't be happier because that just means more money for comic book stores and independent booksellers. It is very heartwarming to see the fans step up, the creators step up, and, and um, you know, these retailers have given us so much. Uh, like I said, like I, as a little kid walking into a comic shop, that's really, that was like my, you know, magical land of escape. And I uh, would hate for, you know, to see that go away.